You look like a queen. Thanks! Like, on RuPaul's drag show, queen. Beautiful. Yes! <laughs> You need to make sure the hair is in here, right? You take the hair, so I put two sections, and I section it with my fingers because I don't want those lines of demarcation to show if from using something like this guy, you know, this kind of comb. So, you get the hair, and this is, I've done the LOCM method on here. On this wee piece of hair, I'm not doing twists, I'm just kind of twisting the hair really tight at the root. Then you get your hook and you make sure that you push it, you push the hair, not here, but you push it here. You bring your green or whatever color waveformer thing close to the hook and then, oh for goodness sake. Wow, just when I thought I had it figured out. <laughs> what a disgrace. This was working you guys, maybe because I'm showing it's not working. Uh, I don't know, this was working. I was actually going through this really quickly and then now this happened. Okay, I'm gonna show it again. There we go, and you're pushing this further up towards the root. <sighs> that's how I was gonna say that's how you do it, but as you can see here, I was crying because it wasn't going well. Anyway, this is the pack, and this is what it looks like. You get about 12 in a pack. Not about, you get 12 in a pack. Look at what happened here. Look at the nonsense that happened here. Okay, then I realized that, ooh, this would make a really nice wash and go. Look how defined those curls are, but hey, over here. So, this is another technique <laughs> I just pulled the hair through um with the one part of the hook and just kind of uh, at this point i was like whatever i just pulled the hair through normally without the hook this is this is just a disaster what a mess and then i just straightened it out with the rest of the waveformer yeah it's a, it's a mess but you gotta do what you gotta do And so here I'm just kind of showing y'all how it is done like a pro, okay? So some of them went this smoothly and some of them obviously did not. Let me say about 80% did not go this smoothly. I don't know what I was doing wrong. It was a total mess and a disaster. But once you had one in, you were like, okay, this is going to be such a bomb look. I need to keep going. I need to keep going. And in my mind, I was like, I am never going to have the zeal and the motivation to ever do this ever again. So yeah, I kept going. I just kept going. And this was at the point where I was still using way too much product for my hair. So you can see the product kind of seeping out of the waveformers. That is not the way to do it because you will wear your hair down with too much product. But as you can see here, I just braided everything. And it was time to go to bed. Charlie, I was tired. It is four hours later. It is four hours later. I'm done. And this is what I'm gonna tell you so that you don't make the same mistake. I honestly feel like crying because I did not envision spending this much time on this hairstyle. Woo child. Went through four packs. Yes, they give you one of these in every single pack. I don't even have much energy. I'm not even, even going to pretend to have energy right now. I am tired and I got places to be tomorrow, like church. And I also just realized that I can't even get myself out of this top right here because of this stuff on my head. So I'm going to have to sleep with this top on. <laughs> Ay, my goodness. Nobody tells you any of these things. You're better off wearing some kind of robe or wear your pajamas whilst you do this, but you might get product all over it. Whatever. Anyway, this is the scoop, right? If you've got type 4 hair, do not try and do this with three packs or even four packs because it will not be sufficient. I don't even think it matters how long your hair is. This has to do with the thickness of our hair. I have four type 4 hair. I'm not even going to say which letter because 
there's a lot of dispute about that I, I don't really know but I know it's like type 4 it's really thick so especially because I had come out of the shower ages before I started doing this at least two hours three hours or so and because I had stuff to do in, in the meantime hmm. when I try to wet it and especially not having a very good hair um, water bottle kind of thing and I was using this it wasn't really helping so my hair was kind of damp but not like soaked soaked wet so what you want to do when you do this you want to come straight out of the shower and start just start with your hair actually dripping wet so that it's like very smooth and when you're trying to get it through one of these waveformers it just glides through um because I found that first of all when I put a lot of product in my hair it works really really well and it the hair would just glide through but also if my piece if my if my hair if the piece of hair that I chose were about this this width about this big that helped as well so you can't do really big chunks like you see this that's kind of as as far as you have to go and I thought it could be more because of how broad these waveformers are but remember these waveformers are used by people with all kinds of hair like um, you know all kinds of hair even people with like straight hair type one hair whether that's even a type or whatever so basically you can't really expect to fill the entire thing for this type of hair you're gonna need about five packs i would say comfortable to do this comfortably now what i ended up doing here is i ended up just kind of flat twisted down and what i'm gonna do once it's dry and all the waves are there i'm just gonna push this to the side so i'm basically gonna have one side that's like just flat <laughs> and then the waves will be here and actually I don't know why I did this because I actually meant to do it that way but whatever we'll see how it turns out in the morning and the scary part is that it's not like I can sleep with this and kind of wake up with it and just walk around the house because I got to be at church at 8 o'clock in the morning and it is now midnight so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to sleep with it. I'm going to sleep like how they used to do in the 1600s or whatever time it was when they thought that when you sleep flat, uh, all the blood goes through your brain and you die. Um, yeah, I'm going to do what those people used to do, which is sit up straight and sleep. I don't know what I'm going to do. Who can sleep on this? This is very uncomfortable, as you can imagine. Like When I saw it on YouTube, I thought they'd be very, very soft. And it is kind of soft, but a lot of them, them on top of each other feels like concrete. So... Yeah, all this for beauty. <laughs> Yay! I'm gonna dry, blow dry my hair actually, and make sure that my hair is actually dry, 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 dry before I sleep. Just in case. Because I don't want to wake up in the morning and find that my hair is not dry, 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 dry. I'm praying that this is amazing and I pray that it has a great hold and that for days and days and days I will not have to worry about my hair because I did not plan to spend all this time doing my hair. So this better be amazing. Anyway, I'll check back again with you in the morning early in the morning at the crack of dawn and we'll see what this thing is all about i just blow dried for about five minutes and I need to get going so whatever it is these things gotta come out because I cannot Erica but do it I don't know how I would do that it's very painful and it doesn't go any higher than this to be honest so I'm not gonna put myself through all that I'm just gonna remove it from here it feels dry and the roots feel dry so I'm assuming that that means that everything is dry as you know I maybe would be able to compare it to this which just feels kind of slightly damp but that's because, I think, because I've braided them together, right? So it's kind of harder for it to dry. But for instance, this part is completely bone dry. So this is the moment of truth. I'm just going to start with this one right here. And I hope that the removal is going to be easy because... <laughs> okay. Here we go. this would work I'm literally speaking so soft because it is before six o'clock okay I gotta go to church okay I'm gonna get lit for the Lord okay but uh, put this on Instagram if you're not following me yet on Instagram it's time for life now please follow me there and all those youtubers that make it look really easy they lie they really lie they really really lie
it even comes out looking straight and then it kind of forms but you know what it's still kind of damp it's still kind of damp y'all and it's taking me literally five minutes to remove so this I like because if these were flexi rods this would have taken a thousand years that wind better come correct today I am playing no games with nature okay Ooh, that was so fun and very therapeutic to remove you need to make sure that your tips are very nicely trimmed because <laughs> this thing will snitch on you like here I'm now seeing stuff that I never knew was the, what was this these are big what what is this uh, I like cutting it you know but ain't nobody got time for that so it's stretched now but how do you style this in a follow-up video i actually go through how i style this for a week so stay tuned see because i'm the type of person who does this and then would not want to style it properly because i want the style to last so i would kind of work with it the way it is just now and then days down the line kind of poof it up and you know loosen the curls and stuff like that so that's exactly what i'm gonna do I am not wasting any time. I'm just gonna remove this, these braid, these braids, and just put it back there. Well, this kind of looks weird. Does that even look normal? Because it goes out like I just tuck it in. First of all, you can see all the lines of demarcation, and some of the ones that I twisted too much, they are kind of twisted. So you can see them. They're like. Like this guy, I feel like it's all the way twisted up until here and then it's not. No, don't like the way this looks. This looks hideous. Whatever you do, don't ever compromise your sleep. If you don't know how long something is gonna take, don't do it. Don't do it that day, do it the next day or sometime when you have the whole day free because this was a big mistake. I do not like how this thing is snitching on the ends of my hair. Like, what is this? It looks hideous. Maybe I'll tuck it in. This is so funny. Now all the hair is tucked in. Yes, finally I can remove this thing. Thank you, Lord. So, at this point, I really have to go. I just did a very, very quick makeup look. And I actually like this situation, you know. This is like a stockings, but it looks like a turban and I kind of like it. But anyway. Okay, now I gotta go. This is the final look for today and I'll be filming for the next few days just to show what kind of hairstyles I come up with and give you more updates. Okay, bye, have a blessed Sunday and yeah, God bless you. Oh, and of course, make sure you hit bump, stomp and zonk on that subscribe button and while you're at it, hit the notification bell and make sure you're part of the amazing It's Time For Life family. Make sure to make time for glorious life. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.